and sometimes we activate the wrong schema entirely. Take a good look at this drawing. It's an example of how our interpretation of new information can become faulty or biased. Try to remember the image you just saw. What do you think was happening there? For a number of research subjects, the knife was perceived to be in the hands of the black man. These subjects reconstructed the information found in the picture around their own bias schemas, in which blacks are always seen as the aggressors. And so the knife changed hands in their mind from the white aggressor to the innocent black man. Here's another way we go wrong. Which is farther north, Seattle or Montreal? And which is farther west, the entrance to the Panama Canal on the Pacific Ocean side or the entrance on the Atlantic side? In fact, Seattle is further north, but we usually think it's Montreal because we picture Canada as always being north of the U.S. And it's the Atlantic entrance of the canal that's further west, despite our assumption that the Pacific is always west of the Atlantic. What's happened is that we've been led astray by the mental maps we have in our minds. These maps can enlarge nearby familiar places and foreshorten faraway places, like this satirical picture of the world from a Bostonian's perspective. We also store mental pictures of objects like this one and scan them in our minds in much the same way we scan actual objects with our eyes. Now think back to the picture of the motorboat. Did it have a windshield? Did it have an anchor? When researcher Steve Coslin asked subjects each of these questions, they tried to answer as fast as they could by pressing a button. Results indicated that it took them longer to remember that there was an anchor than a windshield. This longer reaction time was taken to mean that the subjects were scanning a visual image of the motorboat in their minds. And because the anchor was farther away than the windshield, when they scanned the image starting from the back of the boat, it took longer to see the anchor with the mind's eye. A similar result occurred when subjects were asked whether each of these letters was a normal R or a mirror image. The further the R had been rotated, the longer it took subjects to answer, because in their minds they had to rotate the R's back into an upright position.